Hello students, welcome to the English session. Today, we shall be dealing with the lesson The Happy Prince by Oscar Wilde. The story is about a prince. When the prince was alive, he was very happy. After his death, a big statue of his was erected on a pedestal. From there, the statue of the prince could see the entire city and at that time he saw the miseries of the people. He saw the poor people, the homeless, the hunger and starvation. The prince was sad to see all these miseries, sadness of the people. So in this chapter, we will study the story of this prince. The happy prince is a beautiful statue of solid gold leaves. It stands high above the city. It has blue sapphires for eyes and a ruby on the hilt of the sword. The handle of a sword is called a hilt. One day, a little swallow arrives at the city. He was on its way to Egypt to join his friends. The swallow is excited to be in the city. He finds the golden statue perfect for his nighttime accommodation. But as he prepared to sleep, drops of water fell on his head. The swallow, annoyed, decided to find another shelter. However, as he prepared to fly, he looked up at the statue. The statue was crying. The swallow kindly inquired about the statue. The statue replied that during his life, he only knew happiness, so he was called the happy prince. He lived in a palace with his subjects, ensuring that he lived happily, so he knew nothing of misery during his rule. When he died, his subjects built a statue of him high up in the city. Now he could see all the ugliness and misery of the city. It was too much for the prince and it broke his lead heart. Wilde ironically shows that a stone statue has more empathy than human beings. The prince then tells the story of a tired and thin seamstress with hands scarred by needle marks. Her son is sick, but she cannot care for him since she must finish the gown for the queen's maid of honor. The prince now asks the little swallow to take the ruby from his sword and give it to the poor mother. The sparrow hesitates. He makes excuses saying his friends are expecting him in Egypt. However, the sparrow feels sorry for the weeping statue and takes the ruby from the hilt. The sparrow flies over a beautiful church and the royal palace where people are dancing. He overhears the queen's maid of honor's concern for her dress and whether it will be ready for the state ball. She believes that her seamstress is lazy and will not deliver her gown on time. Through this, Wilde shows the insensitivity of the rich in contrast to the suffering of the poor. The swallow brings the stone to the mother and fans the child before going back to the statue. He feels happy after doing a good deed. Having done his good deed, the sparrow is ready to leave. But the prince asks for his help again. The prince, in succession, asks the sparrow to take the sapphires from his eyes and give them to a hungry young writer and the match girl crying on the street. The sparrow cries in protest, saying that such an act would leave the prince blind. But the prince commands him. So unwillingly, the sparrow takes the sapphires out of his eyes. The statue is now blind. The sparrow had by now grown very fond of the prince and decided to stay with him and be his eyes. He sat on the prince's shoulder and began narrating a few of his stories. But the statue only wanted to hear the stories of the city's suffering. So the swallow told him about the children starving in the street while the rich danced in their beautiful houses. The statue tells him to remove all his gold leaves and give it to the poor. So the swallow removed all the gold leaves and distributed it to the poor. The statue now looked dull and grey. By now, winter had set in and the swallow was unable to keep warm. He knew he was close to death. So he kissed the prince goodbye. Then it died at its feet. The statue keenly felt the loss of the swallow. His grief causes his lead heart to crack. The next day, the mayor and his counselors were walking by the statue. The mayor, disliking the dull statue, orders it to be brought down. Here, Wilde shows the value that society places on beauty over noble deeds. They melt the statue, but they could not melt its lead heart. 
So they threw the heart out onto the rubbish along with the dead swallow. Far away from the city, God asks his angels to bring him two precious things from the city. The angels bring him the heart of the statue and the dead swallow. God is pleased. He is eager to hear the singing of the swallow and praises from the happy prince. With that, we have come to the end of our session. Thank you and have a nice day.